Welcome back. It's nice to see you again. This is another Apple Motion tutorial. We are picking up where we left off from our previous Final Cut Pro tutorial where we actually showed you how to use these to recreate this Brent Rivera glowing, shaking text effect. If you want to check that out, link in the description below. All right, so we're going to start by going over to Apple Motion and we're going to create a new Final Cut effect. I like to work at 30 frames per second. And then for the frames, I'm going to make this 30 frames. Now, whatever number you pick there, it's important to remember the numbers because it'll play into how we actually make our shaking effect. Now that we're in our project, we have our effect source down here. We're just gonna come up here. We're going to go to behaviors, parameters, and oscillate. Oscillate just has a back and forth movement. To see anything happen though, we need to apply it to our X position. You can see from our graph down here that it's a straight line and that's because we need to change our speed, make it a little faster. And as we increase the speed, you can see the wave down here starts to appear. And if we scrub over our timeline, you can see it has this back and forth effect. Now, the reason why we wanted to remember the frames is because you need your speed to be double your frames. So in our case, it was 30, so we're gonna make it 60 or we can make it 120. But the important thing is that makes it so you have a perfectly looping animation where it goes up, down, up, down, and then the next loop will be on the up. And you can see as we play back, we have this nice, smooth back and forth motion. I might, I might even crank this up to 240 just to get us something going really fast. If I'm going to make it that fast though, I'm gonna turn down the amplitude so it doesn't give us total motion sickness. And then come over here to render. You wanna make sure that you have motion blur turned on. That's just important because you can see it has this nice blurry effect to accentuate the movement and make it feel natural to our eyes. So make sure you have that turned on. It'll look too crisp otherwise. Now we're going to duplicate this oscillate effect and we're going to rename it to oscillate Y. Now. We're doing this separate because we want to be able to control them separately. So we're going to apply it to our Y the same way we applied it to our X previously. And then I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna toy with the speed a little bit, but you just wanna make sure you keep it in increments of 60. So 60, 120, 240, 480. And I think that right there feels pretty good. It has a nice shake that is separate and you can see it kind of wobbles back and forth and up and down independently. And I think that that feels pretty nice. Um, you can really uh, change the speed however you want to make it feel like whatever you want. Uh, so I think this is where I'm gonna land right here. Now we're going to duplicate our oscillate Y. We're going to apply it to our transform rotation all. Now you can see immediately what this is going to do. It's gonna make it spin back and forth. That is way too much. So we're just gonna dial that back down so it's a nice little rotation. Something in the 0.1 range feels pretty good. And then we can do the same thing here. We can toy with the speed. I think 120 is probably fine with rotation. Keep it rotating a little slower. And that overall looks pretty good, I think. It has a nice jiggly, rotating effect. All right, that is good enough for our turbulence effect. We're going to hop over and create a new project for our titles, our glowing titles. Now that we're in our project browser, we're just going to pick Final Cut Title this time, 30 frames per second again, and the duration doesn't matter. All right, now that we have our title open here, we're just going to delete the background because we don't need it. Then we're going to select our text and come up to our inspector and we're just gonna reset everything back to zero, zero. Now, if we go over to text, we can center our text. And an important thing, since we're recreating this Brent Rivera effect, we're gonna pick Meloriac. This is a font that comes with Final Cut in Motion and I think it's the exact same font that he's using. To get the same look, we're also just gonna crank up that size. And you can see that it is a little below center, it looks like maybe. So I'm just gonna pull the anchor point uh, just down a little bit and that will get that center dot um, more aligned with the baseline of the text. I think that looks pretty good overall. All right, now let's make this text glow. If we go up to filters, go to glow and go to outer glow, you can see we have some options here to pick different colors and the size of our glow. Let's start by increasing the radius. And you can see right away, we have some very glowy text. I'm gonna turn this up to something around 60, 65 feels pretty good. And I'm even gonna crank the brightness all the way up to 100. Now you can see we have two colors on our glow. We don't need both. I'm just gonna set both of these to red so we match the effect from the Brim Rivera video. 
And that already looks pretty darn close to what he's got. In fact, I think this is almost a perfect replica. Now we're gonna come up here and we're gonna take this the extra mile and we're gonna go into filters and we are going to add sort of this overdrive extra boosted glow. We're gonna come over here and choose glow and then aura. You can see this aura has two different uh, radiuses. We don't need inner, we're going to use outer. And you can see as I just dial that up, it just gets this extra glow, this extra blur. And we can even just click right here and publish it so that when people are using our text over in Final Cut, they can animate and crank up that glow. I'm just gonna go ahead and rename it to Overdrive Glow. And you can see right here, now it's a published parameter for Final Cut. And with that, you can take both of these over to Final Cut and you can combine them to get this shaking, glowing text effect. And you can animate the shaking and glow to your taste. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please like and subscribe. Your support means the world to me, makes a huge difference. If you have a title, effect, or transition from a YouTuber or maybe a movie or a TV show that you would like me to show you how to recreate, please let me know in the comments below and I will make sure to make that video for you. Whether it's in Apple Motion or it's in Final Cut Pro, I'll make sure that I've got you covered. All right, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. We're gonna be doing Peter McKinnon, MKBHD, and more. So please stick around. We'll see you.